So we went into this shoot with the context of knowing this was going to be a very difficult and risky procedure. In Switzerland, on average, 26 people die in avalanche accidents. And of those 26 people on average, 90% um, to 95% have triggered their own avalanche. One of the things I think that was the key to doing it safely was the amount of preparation that we put into it. We hooked up with this group that studies avalanches in, in Switzerland and they have a, a valley that's, that's dedicated to triggering avalanches. And at this site, very large powder avalanches, very destructive avalanches are actually triggered. One of the exciting things we did over there was uh, placing the camera right in the path of an oncoming avalanche. Uh, we had to bring the camera in on a long line, dropped it down, he flies out, Jack Tankard has then flown back in where he fine-tunes the position of the camera and um, puts a, a locating device in it so he can find the camera after the, uh, the avalanche. This was kind of amazing and scary to me is that we have a crew in the helicopter and so you're flying and you've got these five two-liter jugs of dynamite in a helicopter with the fuses burning and they're holding it in the helicopter waiting for the fuse to get to a certain area before they let it go. And sure enough, Avalanche hit the camera. We just saw the camera just go flying. That was very um, a nice um, demonstration of the mechanical impact. The, the forces are rather high and people underestimate the forces in avalanches. And they said afterwards it was the second largest avalanche that they had ever triggered in all of the years that they were studying avalanches there. So, so we had uh, some the filmmaking gods looking down on us that day.